coming at you. My name is Kevin Ashba and I'm a singer-songwriter based in Columbus, Ohio. I joined up with Russ Gaze. I got on at the ground level, basically. I, uh, we started doing stuff long before Russ Gaze was even, was even a thing. We were just in uh, Omar, Omar's living room, basically. We started accompanying other artists and I was playing on a lot of people's music and pretty soon it was inspiring enough to want to do my own for real, you know. <laughs> Having people to bounce ideas off of is just really important. And in fact, I would be lost without that because there's too many possibilities. It's endless. The collaborations in the area are like one of my favorite things personally because I think I tend to work really well with other people. Like it helps me, it helps give me more ideas. I think anyone who comes to the doors at Russ Gears Record with uh, you know, an eagerness to collaborate, I think will um, improve in some way. It's really inspiring because when your friend asks you a question about their song, you can get really excited for them because maybe you're a fan of the song too, or maybe you have this thing in your mind where, oh, wait a second, let me, let me tell you my idea for that, you know? I think it's the factor of not being lonely in it and you have this kind of companionship in it and when you know, if Kevin's down one day, I'm up and can pull him up and make him remember why he's here and why he's doing it. Because what he does is special. That's another cool thing about the artists that work in this studio is everyone's really willing to help each other on each other's tracks. Like, Nick has played the drums on my track, he plays drums on Kevin's tracks. Like, Kevin does backups and keys for me and I do, you know, backups and stuff for him. So, and Frank does bass on a lot. It's just cool to see everybody help each other's tracks to make them better. We just did a, a big show at the Lima Civic Center. And we just collaborated. It was me, Frank, Nick, and Kevin. And we had never, we're not a band. We'd never done that before. We all kind of do our own thing. But we came together and made that show our thing, you know? And, and it, it attracted a lot of people, drew a big crowd. And I, I found people that had never seen me before through that, which is really cool. But yeah, we all kind of do a good job of supporting each other and coming out to each other's shows when we're not all working together. A typical day in the studio is a lot of sitting around, preparing microphones, preparing, uh, you know, making up a drum kit, making up guitar amps, uh, just getting that perfect sound before you even start recording. A lot of the time is spent with this kind of excited state of uh, preparation. Sometimes when we come, we have a plan. I, I come to work on original stuff that I've written, and sometimes I'll come by myself, and we'll work on, Omar will help me record and get the bones of the track down. And then other times we'll have everybody come in, and we all just kind of look at each other, and like, what songs do we all know? And then we just start playing, start jamming, and they just kind of evolve. There's not a time limit on our projects and stuff. Like, sometimes we'll show up, but 1 p.m. and be here till 10 p.m. and there's no pressure to get anything done in a certain amount of time. You know, we can use that time to really 
work on whatever we're working on and make it as good as we want it to sound, you know? I think, too, uh, passion is a good word for it, because I think in a bigger situation, a bigger studio, you've got, you know, maybe a label that's, like, really wanting to crank out, like, a bunch of, get a bunch of views, get this going, and then you got this guy under this guy that's, like, in charge of getting the band to crank out these songs. You know, I think, I think that's a big thing. I don't think there's near as much uh, passion in, like, a, you could say a commercial grade um, situation where here it's more, uh, I don't know. I don't want to use the word organic, but it's it is. It's it's you know, it's it's a little more, I don't know, natural, I guess. So far the three people that Ruskies have uh, released records by has been a country singer, a soul singer, and a kind of a grizzly old rock singer. None of them sound like each other, but we all get along and we all have this common thread of Ruskies records. <laughs> 